Hola, mi gente! I think I'm gonna start my videos like that every time. Good morning, everyone. I think like 10.30 or something. I know this isn't usually my setup, but right now I am house-sitting for my aunt. I'm all here by myself, so I just decided I would film um, a, a video of me getting ready for work. This is like my go-to makeup, so. Let's put the hair up first. I'm gonna do my brows with the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Dark Brown. Um, I've been using this because my brow wiz, which is this, um, it like finished and I don't want, I want my product to last a long time, so I decided to use this. I feel like it'll last me longer because I don't use too much brow product. So I'm just gonna brush through my brows and then do my brows. I've been house sitting because one of her dogs is going blind and she needed somebody to take care of them and obviously she trusts me because I'm family. So I've been doing that. And let me just say they are a lot of work. She has three Pomeranians. And if you know Pomeranians, like if you know dog breeds, you know that they are very high maintenance dogs. They wake me up every day at like 4 a.m. to take them out um, to go freaking pee and poo. So yeah, it's it's a struggle. It's a struggle. Literally only have like 20 minutes to get ready. So this is my brows. I tried doing something really quick, really fast. I need to go get my eyebrows done. They are so thick. So when I travel, I always try to carry small palettes um, because it just fits in my case. And if I wanna take a big palette, I will, but for the most part, I'll usually carry something small. And the palettes I always recommend are the Modern Renaissance by ABH. This is such a cute palette. It's amazing and it has colors that you'll use practically every day. I mean, I mix all these colors all the time. And then I also brought the ColourPop I Love Sarai collaboration, um, the saucy one. This palette is also very cute if you're like into purples. And I don't know, I was feeling in the purple mood. Um, yesterday I should have filmed my eye look. I did like a really cute purple. Um, eye. So I primed my eyes with uh, Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I'm just gonna go into the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm just gonna grab one of my dirty brushes. This is my Morphe Y19. And go into Golden Ochre, Burnt Orange, and Raw Sienna. Just gonna go all in one. Just gonna put that in the crease. And yeah, my brushes are dirty, okay? You know, the thing I hate about like makeup is that you have to clean your brushes all the freaking time. And since I'm not home right now, it's hard for me to clean my brushes because I didn't bring the stuff, which I should have. Do you hear the dogs? Do you hear, me? Do you hear? something fast? Honestly, when you're doing makeup for every day, it does not have to look beautiful, okay? Like it does not have to look like those Instagram girls. I don't know, I feel like Society makes us think that like our makeup has to look a certain way because of all these beauty gurus But I just don't feel like that's the case for me at least like yeah, I think it's beautiful and like I would love to like do all that and I hope that that's where my career goes, but For every day and like for the most part like not everyone's gonna be doing like a freaking black smoky eye every day I'm just someone who doesn't care what people think of me like all the time. Like as long as I feel good, then I feel, then I'm happy. Um, but that's just me. I know there's like a lot of bad things in the world that makes people think like, oh, you're supposed to be this way or you're supposed to be that way. It's not fair. Like who decides what we get to be, you know? So that's basically it for my eye look right now. I'm just gonna like make sure it doesn't look like total trash because I'm someone who's a perfectionist so I also can't have something look at like the absolute worst smudge brush that my mom got me like who knows how long and go to Primavera and I'm just gonna put that all over the lid my brush and I'm gonna deepen it up with red ochre and real gar so let's do that this palette's really good, but it gets so dirty so fast. Like I, I, if you guys like have heard of the Subculture palette, I heard that shit has like hella fallout. Yeah, I look for the day. <laughs> 
So I'm telling you guys, when you guys are getting ready for like work or something, don't put in the, like the whole nine yards. Like it's not even worth it. Now I'm going to go into the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner. And this is super, like it doesn't smudge, like it won't move. Like when I try to take it off, it's so hard for me to take it off. And it's good. I mean, it's hard for me to get a wing out of this. I mean, better days um, than others. But for the most part, like it gets the job done. You can get a wing out of it if like you really try. Sometimes it for me, I just like a brush tip. So I like the NYX liquid liner, but like that is already gone for me because I used it I used it up. Onto the face. Um I'm going to go into my so since it's the winter time my skin has been really dry. Um I have normal to oily skin, but for the most part it's mostly normal. Um so my skin has been really dry and it's freaking annoying. My hand everything my whole body has been dry. So I'm going to go into the what is this? First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothing Primer Moisturizer. Anything that's a moisturizer for the winter, I'm down for. Press it into my skin, especially my pores areas because my pores, oh my god. With the foundation that, I use, that I'm currently using right now, you gotta make sure that your pores cannot be seen. Like, oof. Foundation that I'm currently using right now, I know that um, I've used the Makeup Forever Ultra HD, but that foundation is too dark for me right now. This is like the palest that I've been in a long time. And I know it's not that pale, okay? I know some people will be like, I just heard something around the house and that's not okay. Kat Von D Locket Foundation. It's 24 hour wear, full coverage, transfer resistant matte finish, and that's all true super matte which is why i suggest even if you're like a little bit oily try using like a pore like a pore professional like if you're really oily use pore professional around your where you have your pores and then everywhere else try to put like a lot of moisturizer on because this you'll have a damp beauty blender and it'll make your beauty blender kind of like dry which is crazy i finally figured out how i like to wear this foundation so i'm just gonna use one pump one pump is like all you need if you put on a moisturizer sometimes if i want to go more full coverage and i put more um but i just do you see this is like this foundation is like cake okay it's cake in a bottle a little bit goes such a long way i mean look at this whole thing is gonna cover my face watch the problem with this foundation is that since it's so full coverage if you like mess up your foundation shade it's noticeable like right now this is starting to become a little bit too dark for me and it's so noticeable shape tape in the shade light medium of concealers that'll make your foundation a little bit lighter if i look back like a year ago my foundation like my makeup routine used to be so different well not not exactly a year ago but like a year and a half ago let's say that yeah that was more time that was like before i was watching makeup tutorials like my my makeup routine it was like it's still kind of the same, but like it's also super different. And I also did not know anything about makeup and like how to make it look like a little bit more flawless, a little bit more effortless. Like I had unblended as hell, like unblended as fuck eyeshadow. Like it looked like shit, okay. And that was also the time when I was trying to look for a boyfriend, blah, blah. And little did I know that wearing no makeup would land me my boyfriend now, so. The irony. I don't wear makeup every day. Right now I'm wearing makeup because like I'm in the mood. It's the winter season. This is the first time ever that I'm actually into Christmas. With my Y5 brush. Just gonna go in. I love. If you guys watch Jamie Jenna. I forget what her name is. Jamie Jenna. She's from Scotland I believe. I love her makeup. Oh my god. She is so gorgeous. Her makeup is like grungy. Like every day her makeup is like grungy and I wish I could do that every day. Makeup is like an expression of art and like I usually put on makeup more towards when like I'm more stressed or like have more anxiety because this just kind of helps me out because when I'm doing my makeup I'm not thinking about that. Especially if I'm filming a video because I just feel like I'm talking to myself because I kind of am talking to myself but then I post it on the internet and I'm not talking to myself. So yeah. Let me know who your favorite YouTuber is because I'd like to know two color harmony blush palette. I'm just gonna call it that. Um, I got this, if you guys watch my, 
what did I get at Generation Beauty? I got this at Generation Beauty and it's A1, okay? This blush is gorgeous and it gives you a little bit of a sheen because it has a little a highlighter. I mean the highlighter, I wouldn't use it just as a highlighter, but oh, this blush is everything. It's all, like I think it might be my all time fave is the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter. And this is in the 100 Molten Gold shade. And it's so beautiful. It fits my skin tone really well. Um, it just, oh, it feels like, but it looks like butter on my skin, literally. And it's so good. Like when you first apply it, you kind of have to like build it up a little bit. You like, put it on the second time, it looks, oh my gosh, like, this is so natural, right? So natural. I hate putting highlighter all over my nose. I don't know why I just did that. I just like putting it on the tip and then right in between my eyes, or the, yeah, right in between my eyes, like right there, because my nose is oily and, oh my God, putting highlighter there just looks like a hot mess. Face right now looks a little bit powdery because I told you guys, like this foundation is so freaking matte. It looks crazy. Then I'm going to go into my Milani Stay Put Waterproof Eyeliner. I think this is okay. I don't think it's like that, that great. Um, it does fade sometimes, but sometimes it doesn't. So I don't know. I think it's okay. After I'm done with all that, I'm going to spritz my face with the Kat Von D Lock It Makeup Setting Mist, which is really good. I feel like it makes my makeup last a little bit longer. And the mist is so freaking fine. Like, you know when some mists are just... Pfft, this is not the one. Mmm, so good. And it lasts me a long time because, like, I don't go through makeup that fast. Um, hold on, let me stop talking. Um, in my last video on my Sephora Playbox, I got this Marc Jacobs... What is it called? Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. And it is so good. Um, like, I... I said last time that like it just doesn't like really give much volume, but it gives like a crazy amount of length. Like that's why I'm so obsessed with it. Um, like my stepmom asked me like, are you wearing falsies? And I was like, nah, girl, this on my natural latch. So I've been obsessed with it ever since. What I like about this mascara is that like it doesn't flake. My Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof does. Like, I mean, I love the formula, and I, I like the original formula more than the waterproof one. I mean, it's still so freaking good. Like, I love that mascara, the Too Faced Better Sex Waterproof one. But, like, if it just didn't do that. Lip. So, for today, I'm going to go in with my Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte Lip Color. And these are so freaking good and so pigmented. And I didn't expect much from this, honestly. Like, when I first put it on, I was like, this is not going to dry. Like, it's not going to be good. It's basically transfer proof. Like, it's so good. I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Lip Contour Spice Girl Lip Pencil, which is also amazing. I bought this with a kit of, like, their two liquid lips like this. And I think her liquid, liquid lips are good. I just hate how it takes forever to dry down. Like, uh... I wish it would just dry down right away. Filler, so as you can see, I've been using this thing. And this color is gonna be darker than the lip liner, but it might neutralize it a little bit. I just need to know, cause since this color is dark, I need to like have a lip liner or else I'm just gonna fail. So this is the finished look in daylight. Like when I'm facing the light, I should have filmed right here. Damn, it made more sense. So we have the foundation, which Told you use full coverage. The eyes are something fast, easy, not too hard. I'm wearing my Selena shirt. Finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. It was really chit chatty, I know. I can talk a lot. It's, I did my makeup in 30 minutes. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, share, and so you see? Do you see why I'm obsessed with this highlighter? Do you see? <laughs> if you guys like this video, please comment, share, and subscribe to me. And please let me know what you guys want to see. Um, it makes it easier on me to film videos. If you guys like want me to vlog my life, that I can also do that. I'm someone who's very real, very honest. I'm not going to bullshit you. Thank you. Much for watching. Please tune in for the next one. And I'll see you.
next time. Bye.